Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about how we can benefit from pre-terminated fiber optic cables. Well, we all know that there are two kinds of terminations, field terminated and also factory terminated. Pre-terminated fiber optic cables are also known as factory terminated. Well, let's see the benefits. Well, first, it saves us time and money. If we're on a schedule or we have a budget, we don't have to, you know, take, you'll spend a lot of time measuring and doing redos if we, you know, mess up. So it saves us time and energy when we purchase a pre-terminated fiber optic cable. We can just take it here, set it up in, and then just plug in. It's pretty easy, just simple connect B, A and B. And this, these are some basic benefits from it. Now let's take a look at some uh, more you know, special features. So this is the fast cabling pre-terminated fiber optic cable. We have used special materials so the outer layer is enhanced so it can protect more. And also this is anti-bend so it won't, you know, when we accidentally bend it a little, it won't create gaps or cracks. Well, if we create gaps or cracks, then it will, you know, leak the signal somehow. Fiber optic cables. Also, there's a pulling eye right here. The pulling eye, it helps us to hook onto something and just pull away. Also, you know, there's a pulley system down here, so it helps us make it very convenient for setting up. So once it's all pulled out, you just connect the two parts. They're already with connectors, and you just simply plug and apply. Now I'm going to show you guys how to quickly set up a network system. So give you guys a minute. I'll mo remove this big. So here we have two different converters. These converters convert the fiber signal and the digital signal back and forth. And this is our pre-terminated fiber optic cable and two modules. These two modules go with the converters. Now right here, I'm going to connect one converter here. It's powered on. One module. Then don't hurry to connect our fiber optic cable. We're going to have to set up the rest first because, you know, these are dust proof covers. We want to do it the last set step. Now connect our converter to our switch. So now there's data running through. Then let's remove, this is one end of the fiber optic cable. Let's use Port no, uh, strand number strand B, strand B, and remove the dust removers, and simply plug in. Here, click. It's inserted. And then, which on the other end, you also strand B, strand B, and insert the module to the converter. Remove the dust protector and then connect the fiber optic cable with the converter. Click. Now our next step is to power the converter. This is our power supply. Mm -hmm. and now this is, you see the indicators are all on so there's through. And then an extra. Connect our camera to our converter. You can see it's connected right here. This, is connect this converter is now connected to our IP camera. Now let's just wait a sec and wait for the image to show on our screen.
As you can see, the image was blurry and it's now focused and it'll zoom in a little later. It's getting focused, focused. It's gonna take a while and now you can see the clear image from the HD camera we have right there. So yeah, this is really easy setup. If you used, you know, field terminating cables, if you used a field terminating cable, then you're gonna have an extra step of, you know, cutting it, matching it, then sealing it. It's, a, it's very complicated connect, connecting, applying the connectors to the end of the, this fiber optic cable because it's very precise work so it requires some experience and very special equipments. So yeah, using a pre-terminated fiber optic cable is much more easier so it's kind of like connecting Ethernet just with two more converters and modules. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any more comments, please post them at the section below. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.